Hello my pretties and welcome to another episode of Techspert Weekly where we have a bit of a nibble on the week's tastiest tech news and also choke down an unhealthy buffet of viewer comments from the previous week. I'll wash down with a hearty dose of that good stuff of course. But remember kiddies, alcohol is bad for your health. But it is also f***ing awesome so there's that. Anyway, lots to get through this week, so let's stop fannying about and let's roll that jingle. Techspert Weekly! And let's start, why don't we, with the big phone news of the week, because Poco Phone finally got around to launching a proper successor to last year's Poco F1. So say a great big friendly or eat to the Poco F2 Pro, a smartphone boasting premium specs like the Snapdragon 865 plus a 5G modem, an AMOLED display with HDR10 plus support and a quad lens rear camera using Sony's IMX686 sensor. It is basically just a rebranded Redmi K30 Pro with the Poco launcher slapped on instead, but it's coming to Europe with an asking price starting from just €499. Euros. If you absolutely had to nitpick, you could say, well, why doesn't it have a 90Hz display? Why is there only a mono speaker setup instead of a stereo speaker setup? And 30 watt charging? Mm, that's less than impressive, isn't it? But there's still solid value for money to be had here. After all, very few phones like the Red Magic 5G and the Black Shark 3 offer these kinds of specs for that kind of price. So cheer up you miserable git. Well, the only bit that proper annoys me is how can you have a Poco F2 Pro when you don't have a Poco F2 standard? It makes no sense, innit? But anyway, if you want a full rundown of the Poco F2 Pro's specs and other sexy bits, then definitely go check out my All You Need To Know video which I published earlier this week. This week also saw Dell update its excellent XPS laptop range, one of the only true choices for creative users. Forget that Apple sh** the new supersized XPS 17 looks like one hot morpho with its full HD or 4K display, 10th gen Comet Lake H chipset and GeForce GTX or RTX graphics. It's big, it's beefy and I want it inside me. No, no wait, not inside me because that would be incredibly painful and also make the laptop really difficult to use. Obviously what I meant to say was I want it in my lap which now that I think of it sounds just as filthy. Anyway, hopefully I'll be bringing you full reviews of both of those jobbies really, really soon. But now, of course, it is time to slap on the hazard suit and plunge into last week's viewer comments. Check out your glorious words. Woo woo! Viewer comments. Now, first up, I gotta say, there are actually very few comments about the Xperia 1 Mark II this past week. Don't tell me you guys are losing your dedication to the cause already. Come on, man. Now, we do have one here. Golden Flower says, let's be real, guys. Marky Brownlee and Aaron from Mr. Who's the Boss probably already have the Xperia 1 2 and are prepping there. I've been using the Xperia 1 2 for the last three weeks review. I don't know. I mean, do those guys actually use phones that aren't the iPhone 11 or brought the iPhone 11 Pro Max Plus Ultra, whatever the f***ing snazzy doodly dandy one is out of curiosity just going to type in marquee xperia one and see if they covered the original one at all uh, so the first thing that pops up is something from the verge that's always a good sign uh marquee brownlee where's anything from marquee brownlee <laughs> There you go, Sony Xperia Z5 Premium was the last one that he apparently covered, so he's well on top of the uh, the Xperia game. Let's do the same with Mr. Who's the Boss. Oh, no, wait, my bad, I've gone and spelt his name with accurate grammar. Mr. Who's the Boss Xperia, let's see what we get. Uh, Sony Xperia Z4 from five years ago. Uh, that Verge one, again. Verge is doing well on the old SEO, aren't they? Uh, there you go, apparently it's been the half a decade since either of those guys covered any Sony stuff, so hey-ho. So there wasn't much Xperia love slash exasperation this week, but what we did get was lots of Teletext reminiscence, which is of course awesome. Uh, Dean F says, Teletext was brilliant for getting next year holiday flights though. Yes, I remember using those to book up back in the day. It was either that or going into an actual travel shop. Michael says, banging away on your TV remote and waiting for a lifetime to see some info that was out of date. I feel old. Uh, yeah, you and me both, brother. That is what our friend the alcohol is for. Dan says, I remember my granddad always checking the football scores on Teletext. Fond memories of that myself as well. If you've been out all day, you'd missed all the action and everything. Can't just check out your smartphone because there are no smartphones. You'd have to go to the sports pages. And of course, it would scroll through all of the leagues, giving you all the scores. And you'd get there just as it scrolled past your league. So you'd have to wait for it to loop through every single other team in the UK before finally getting back to yours. What a waste of precious life. And a couple of people bringing a bamboozled as well, which is easily the best thing on Teletext. Uh, we used to play that every week, I remember. Uh, yeah, this was back in the days before Fortnite and PUBG, obviously, where we just sit down and do general knowledge quizzes instead of teabagging the mutilated corpses of our mates. I believe you can actually still play a version of Bamboozled online, if I'm not mistaken. Nah, apparently it's an app. Uh, you can download it for iOS or Android, so go get 
on board with that if you have no idea what Bamboozle is or you just want to pretend that you're eight years old again. And a couple of you guys actually spotted the TCL 10 Pro in last week's video as well. <laughs> you guys are freaking eagle-eyed, man. i to make sure I don't leave any incriminating stuff lying around in the studio. Uh, next up on the comments, Just Water says, will you review the Sony Xperia 10 II? That's the plan, my man. Or oh, lady, if you're a lady. Don't want to turn this show into sexist trash, obviously. Just sexy trash, am I right? I've also had review requests for the Samsung S10 Lite, the Note 10 Lite, and the iPhone SE 2020 as well. The Samsung don't send out review samples of anything other than their flagship stuff because for some reason they don't want to even acknowledge the existence of the cheaper handsets in case, I guess, you don't buy the expensive shiz. And Apple don't send me review samples because I don't chug their Kool-Aid. But I am trying to grab samples of the Galaxies and that iPhone SE 2020 from networks and the sources as well so hopefully stay tuned i'll bring you full reviews soon definitely can't wait for that hot a13 action or at least for half an hour or so until the battery runs dry oh this is a lovely one marion says don't let the pricks stop you doing what you do chris you're the best when i open youtube i first look if you've got anything new and then look for all the others Oh, thanks buddy, I love you too. Ah, oh, getting all emotional up in here now. Uh, Lauren says, best Android answer to the Apple Watch Series 5. Uh, well, if you're into your fitness shenanigans, I've heard that the Garmin smartwatch is really, really good. It's been a while since I've reviewed one, but uh, certainly all the, the runners, the fitness enthusiasts that I know of, because I just face it, I ain't one of them, uh, swear by those ones, definitely check that out. If you just want everyday uh, smartwatch shenanigans, then Fossil Watch Gen 5, I reviewed it end of last year. Very stylish smartwatch. Uh, fully feature packed and under 300 quid you can probably grab it for about 200 quid uh, these days i would imagine uh, it's got shit about real life but then so does the apple watch so it pretty much is a straight swap buzz anime says sold my zx spectrum and a box full of game tapes for 80 quid two years ago heartbreaking um yeah i know this is going to make me sound even more of a curmudgeonly old than usual but yeah can you really imagine the kids these days having the patience to sit through that screechy intro of every single zx spectrum game like 10 minutes of just like eh! Like my daughter gets infuriated if a Netflix video doesn't load within three seconds of her tapping on the little icon. So it'd be a very interesting experiment, actually. Interesting slash cruel. Next up, Jamie says, how do you molest a weasel? Uh, just ask him for a friend, right? But yeah, no, after last week's tech squirt debacle, I ain't searching for anything even remotely dodgy this week. Let's, let's just try and stop all that, yeah? No, but speaking of which, though, Randall then says, advice, go incognito before looking up tech squirt. You're welcome. Um, or best just to steer clear of the whole horrid affair. I think it's probably the best idea, unless you've got a good healthy dose of bleach to douse your eyes with afterwards. Uh, and please don't douse your eyes with bleach. I'm not doing a President Trump here. It won't cure you of seeing horrific porn on the internet, okay? Definitely do not put bleach anywhere near your body. Uh, next up, Matt says, mates, do you have another work career other than your YouTube channel? Uh, yeah, I do a good bit of freelance stuff on the side as well. So I write for a couple of different websites, magazines. Um, just keep that cashola rolling in. Ugh, I can't believe I called it cashola. That's not nice. <laughs> There's a f***ing low rent Johnny Depp character in a 90s action film. And also, have you had any issues with the focus on your Galaxy S20 Ultra camera? Um, I haven't fully tested out the S20 Ultra camera yet, actually. I've been more using it for like the deck stuff whenever I've been using laptops like the, the Galaxy Book S and for performance and battery comparisons as well. But my model is actually the Snapdragon 865 one, not the Exynos one, thank God. Uh, and I read that it was just the Exynos one that had issues with the focus and also uh, like screen tinting and stuff like that. I'm uh, not sure how exactly accurate all of that is. This is just stuff you read on the internet, which let's face it, 90% of it is pure unfiltered bullshit. Uh, so I definitely will try and give that a full-on test and report back at some point. And last up, Simon says, because of your reviews, I bought a Realme 6 great phone. Cheers. Um, excellent. Glad you're enjoying it. Uh, I'm actually using the Realme 6 uh, right now, in fact. Uh, finally getting around to doing a full review. I know I've been a bit lax on the Realme 6 and a couple of the other budget ones. There's just been so many phones in 2020. So many. Like enough to choke a dozen donkeys easily. So uh, yeah, hopefully Realme 6 full review coming soon, but I'm definitely enjoying using it and glad that you are too. Uh, and that's probably it for viewer comments I'm afraid this week. Sorry, but already banged on for far too long. But thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone who uh, commented on last week's show. Please do uh, smash a comment down below. I'll try and get through as many of those as possible next week as well. And speaking of next week, what we got coming up? Uh, f oh, according to the calendar. Uh, but that doesn't mean that nothing will be launching next week because they seem to be just magically happening uh, out of nothing these days now that we can't actually have proper launch events. People are just saying, oh, f it, just going to throw it on the internet. There you go. It's, it's live. Enjoy. 
Um, so there might be stuff launching. So definitely join me next week for Techspert Weekly. Uh, same time, as always, noon on Friday, where we'll be covering more of the sexy tech news. We'll be going through all of your lovely comments. Thank you very much again. And yeah, that's about it. I'm going to go and drink that bottle of whiskey. Have yourselves a lovely weekend, people. Cheers. Love you.